we just need the real terms from this so the real term from this part comes out to be equal to root 2 to the power 4 n plus 1 hello everyone swagat aapka mere channel arindam rao chaudhary ke binomial theorem part 5 mein aur ummeed karte hain ki aapko ye video pasand aayegi in this video we are going to take some more questions from the concept of binomial theorem so let's look at the first question of the video 4nc1 upon 4n minus 4nc3 upon 4n minus 2 plus 4nc5 upon 4n minus 4 minus 4nc7 upon 4n minus 6 and this series goes on till minus 4nc of 4n minus 1 upon 2 can be given by we have four options for this question root 2 to the power 4n root 2 to the power 4n into minus 1 to the power n option c is root 2 and option d is 2 root 2 from this question first of all let's analyze so it at every term the sign is changing and this coefficient is changing by 2 as well as this coefficient. This coefficient is always 4n. So first of all, let's take the basic equation 1 plus x to the power 4n. As this is 4n, so therefore we are taking 1 plus x to the power 4n. Therefore, this expansion can be given by 4nc0 x to the power 4n plus 4nc1 x to the power 4n minus 1 plus 4nc2 x to the power 4 of n minus 2 and it goes all 10 4nc4n x to the power 0 so as we are getting a denominator in each case so therefore this is a question of definitely a therefore, question of integration on both the sides we get 1 plus x to the power 4n plus 1 upon 4n plus 1 equal to 4nc0 x to the power 4n plus 1 upon 4n plus 1 to the power 4n upon 4n plus 4n c2 x to the power 4n minus 1 upon 4n minus 1 and it goes on till 4n c4 x to the power 1 upon 1. So as the sign is changing and each is uh, decreasing by 2 so therefore we are now putting the value of x as iota as iota also changes its power after every uh, power of increase of 2 therefore putting the value of x as iota we get 1 plus iota to the power 4n plus 1 upon 4n plus 1 can be given by 4nc0 iota to the power 4n plus 1 upon 4n plus 1 plus 4nc1 iota to the power 4n upon 4n and it goes on till 4n c 4n iota upon 1 so this 1 plus i to the power 4n plus 1 can be generalized as root 2 to the power 4n plus 1 and this denominator comes out here and the numerator also it is multiplied by cos of pi by 4 into 4n plus 1 plus iota times sine of pi by 4 into 4n plus 1 okay so this is the series iota to the power 4n plus 1 can be uh, uh, changed by iota and value of i to the power 4n comes out to be equal to iota uh, equal to 1 i to the power 4n minus 1 comes out to be equal to minus iota and the value similarly we can increase till iota therefore we just need the real terms from this so the real term from this part comes out to be equal to root 2 to the power 4n plus 1 cos of pi by 4 into 4n plus 1 and we get in return we get the series as 4nc1 upon 4n minus 4nc3 upon 4n minus 2 and it goes on till last okay but the problem is that uh, when we go this this can be further reduced okay so the value of cos of pi by 4 into 4n plus 1 can be given by root 2 times of 4n plus 1 into this term now crumbles down to minus 1 by root 2 into minus 1 to the power n so therefore the final value comes out to be equal to root 2 to the power 4n plus 1 minus 1 that is equal to root 2 to the power 4n into minus 1 to the power n therefore the correct option for this question is option b root 2 to the power 4n into minus 1 to the power n now let's look at the next question the unit digit of 17 to the power 1983 plus 11 to the power 1983 minus 7 to the power 1983 can be given by option a1 option b2 option c3 and option d0 so first of all we need to find 17 to the power 1983's units place so in order to find its unit place uh, we can write 17 uh, to the power 1983 as 
17 to the power 4 into 495 into 17 to the power 3 okay so we can now we can write 17 to the power 4 as uh, 289 square to the power 495 into this 17 cube uh, comes out to be equal to 4913 this 298 square can be written by 290 minus 1 whole square into 495 so when we expand this binomially so we get 290 square which is a power of uh, which is a product of 10 and uh, also minus 2 into 290 which is also multiple of 10 so therefore this can be written as 10 k plus 1 to the power 495 into 4913 okay so when we write this as 10k plus 1 to the power 495 in that case when we expand it again binomially so we'll get on the only term which is not a multiple of 10 as 1 so therefore after every power of 4 it is recurring so this the value uh, the units place of 17 to the power 1980 is same as the units place of 17 to the power 0 that is equal to 1 okay so therefore uh, the units place of 17 to the power 1983 can be given by 3 similarly now we are going to find 11 to the power 1983 the units place of 11 to the power 11 to the power anything never changes and it is always equal to 1 so therefore its units place is given by 1 now we are going to find out 7 to the power 1983 as we know that the units place of both 17 to the power 1983 and uh, 7 to the power 1983 will be same as the unit place is same therefore its unit place is also 3. So therefore when we are going to find out uh, the unit digit of 17 to the power 1983 plus 11 to the power 1983 minus 7 to the power 1983 it can be given as 3 plus 1 minus 3 that is equal to 1. So therefore the correct option for this is option C 1. Now let's look at the last question of the video. The sum of coefficients of two middle terms in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power 2n minus 1 is equal to, we are given again four options, 2ncn minus 1, 2ncn, 2n plus 1cn and 2n minus 1cn, okay. So when we expand this binomially, so the number of terms which we will get is 2n minus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2n, okay. So the middle terms can be given by n and n plus 1. Okay, so the middle, uh, the uh, we, we can write term r plus 1 as of 1 plus x to the power 2n minus 1 as 2n minus 1 cr x to the power 2n minus 1 minus r. Okay, so we are basically needing this term 2n minus 1 cr. So, we will get the terms as 2n minus 1 c n minus 1 for this and for this we will get 2 of n minus 1 cn so by applying the formula ncr minus 1 plus ncr can be given by n plus 1 cr so we'll get this as 2 n cn so the final answer for this question now comes out to be equal to option b 2 n cn agar aapko video pasand aaye to kijiye like comment share or subscribe binomial theorem part 6 will be out very soon till then stay tuned